one of the series announced to be part of Marvel's Phase 4 was Armor Wars, and from the looks of things, we're in for a ride. Thus, today, we are going to take a first look into things and tell you everything we know so far about the series, which will probably feature War Machine as one of the main characters. And it seems like his day in the spotlight has finally come after being part of the MCU for so long. Introduction When we take a look at General Rhodes and his character in the MCU, always there with the others, putting his life on the line, it is only fitting for him to be getting a series in which many storylines revolve around him. To be honest, it is about time, don't you think? He has been a constant presence in the MCU since the start way back in 2008 with the first Iron Man movie, with him mainly being portrayed as a side character as Tony Stark's best friend. However, War Machine is so much more than that, and the series will hopefully depict him in the right spotlight. For one, he was the MCU's first black superhero. Two, portrayed by a brilliantly talented Academy Award-nominated actor, Don Cheaty, who never ceased to amaze us with probably one of the best one-liners in the entire MCU. And three, in the comics, Rhodes has long been a cult favorite hero, who once took on the role of Iron Man himself with some fans even preferring him to the original. Those same fans are the ones who have longed for Chidi's depiction of the character in a much more leading role than ever before, particularly after it was revealed that Marvel Studios were seriously considering making a War Machine movie even before Iron Man 3. However, with so many Marvel projects in motion, it has often seemed that War Machine would forever be sidelined which all changed on December 10, 2020, when Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios, announced that the company will produce Armor Wars, an original series on Disney+, Plus, which will see Chidi return to the role, as Rhodes faces off against powerful forces which plan to use Stark's technology to do bad things in the world. Release Date Saying Marvel has a lot on its plate would be an understatement. And while 2020 has turned into a surprising break for Marvel releases, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Marvel soon plans to release a slew of both big screen releases and Disney Plus TV shows, with one of the projects on the list being particularly Armor Wars. The year 2021 saw the releases of WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, Black Widow, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, The Eternals, and the last movie on the list for this year, coming in December 2021, is Spider-Man No Way Home. This is one big slate, and during the Walt Disney Company's 2020 Investor Day presentation by Kevin Feige, we got the announcement for Armor Wars, realistically given that it was at that time when the series was announced for the first time. It is fair to say that it's a long way off, a few years probably, with the series coming somewhere around the early months of 2023, <laughs> if we are lucky enough. The main thing about the series is that it is happening, with talks of it starting to film in the early months of 2022. One of the unique elements from Marvel Studios is that they are the company to reveal a movie or series, with it for sure being released sometime in the future. Unlike other studios who reveal a project and see it go nowhere, never even releasing on the big screen. With Marvel, a notable fact is that whenever they have shown something to the public, it is very likely that they have already started working on the same project in mind. As for how long Armor Wars will take, only time will tell, so stay tuned. Cast So far, nothing has been confirmed from the cast side of things other than the fact that Don Cheaty will be returning to the role of General Rhodes, aka War Machine. Knowing how close he is to the late Tony Stark, we are expecting some, if not all of the characters from the Iron Man movies to appear in at least a small role, including the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow as Pepper Potts, an older Morgan Stark with Lexi Rabe potentially returning for the role, and Happy Hogan, played by Jon Favreau. Now that Marvel has announced the Disney Plus series for Stark's successor, Ironheart, aka Riri Williams, with Dominique Thorne confirmed for the role. She is also a possibility of making an appearance in the series, which will probably lead to her series in some way. If Armor Wars loosely follows the story from the comic storyline of the same name, we can also expect the long-awaited return of billionaire contractor Justin Hammer with Sam Rockwell in the role, who is presumably in prison after the events of Iron Man 2 
though the Luke Cage Netflix series showed that Hammer's weapons were still being produced during his absence. If the plot of the series involves the military or the US government getting a hold of Stark's tech, we could also see Hulk's arch enemy Thaddeus E. Thunderbolt Ross, played by William Hurt, who is not the Secretary of State, getting involved in the series somehow especially since he and Rhodes aren't on good terms to say the least. That is all we have for the cast side of things. There will probably be new cast members confirmed in the future, but for that, we will have to wait and see for ourselves. Plot And while it will be exciting to see War Machine getting his own Disney Plus series, the title itself is enough to make any old school Iron Man fan erupt in applause, which is a big plus. That is because the comics version of the Armor Wars was originally the Stark Wars and was one of the all-time classic Iron Man events. Written by Dave Michelini and Bob Layton alongside artist Barry Windsor Smith and Mark D. Bright, this storyline dates from way back in the 80s which was Iron Man's technology being stolen and sold off to figures such as Justin Hammer. From what we have seen so far in the adaptations that Marvel tends to make, keeping the broad outlines and eschewing the smaller details, MCU's version will probably tell the tale of Jim Rhodes as the main protagonist, rather than the now deceased Stark. Still, the overall trajectory of the story will likely be similar to the one from the comics, with some nefarious bad guy, probably Justin Hammer, or perhaps a previously unused villain in the likes of Ezekiel Stane, the son of Obadiah, a story in which Iron Man's tech will be stolen for their selfish benefits, with the possibility of producing several armored villains for Rhodes to contend with. Hence the title of the series. This TV show could be an opportunity for the MCU to introduce classic foes of Iron Man, who have still not been a part of the MCU, including the likes of Titanium Man, The Beetle, Crimson Dynamo, and so on. Bring them to the big screen, adding even more freshness to the mix. Plus, no one would say no to that, right? Marvel might also turn their heads to some of the concepts they never used for the canceled War Machine movie, filed somewhere ready to be taken into consideration. In an interview for Entertainment Weekly, Don Cheedy said that the movie would have sliced open tensions between Rhodes and the US government. Thus, if Armor War sees Justin Hammer involved in the heist of Iron Man's technology, with them being later sold to the US military, this could put Rhodes in a tough spot, perhaps even becoming a fugitive at one point. Seeing how he would have to choose between his best friend's life work and the country he serves, this is everything we have managed to find for the series. Hopefully, we have created insight for you about the series and something to go on, with further details released sometime in the future, as we have at least a year and a half until the series is released, maybe even more. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the series and what would you like to see happen in it? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.